Hey guys, more Tarok Evolution here, and now we are in the third area of Chapter 5. Man, this one is just going quickly, isn't it? These are, like, small areas, and while I can't really say that I... I mean, that is kind of nice, because, you know, then it's just... You know, then it's easy, and that's perfectly okay with me, because the hard parts are coming, don't worry, it's, get, it's gonna get hard. That's what she said. Or... Wait... Ugh, never mind. Anyway, come on now. Uh, these guys are talking gibberish, and I can't understand them, so I'm going to skip it. I apologize. Anyway, uh, you can get out whatever gun you want here. I'm going to use my minigun, because I like my minigun. Because it's big, contrary to the name. Now, you kill those two guys, and then these new enemies will teleport out in front of you. These guys are like wizard dudes, and they teleport around. They have like these knives that they use and stuff, so you may want to watch out for these guys. They're not really that bad. God, like... Ugh, man, but he wasn't here for the last few parts, so I thought he was finally leaving me alone, but of course. Of course not, you know? Anyway, ah! Just die already. Man, that was a lot of guys. Um, once you kill all those guys, the doors to either side of the room will open up, and you can continue. Now, um, these hallways will get sort of dangerous because, you know, they're just packed with enemies. So, yeah, you may want to watch out for that. Now, there's a key right there, but I'm not going to get it just yet because I want to kill all the enemies right now. Uh, there's none there. Oh, okay, I guess they just appear on one side. Anyway, come right over here and you get arrows. I don't know if those are explosive or not, because I actually didn't know they were there until just now. But anyway, um, go ahead and grab the key, and then just watch out. There are shotgun shells in those little thingies on the wall, and uh, you get more teleportation dudes. So just watch out. If you're at low health, you'll want to watch out, because, you know, they'll teleport to right in front of you. And then... Um, while you're shooting, they'll be teleporting, so you may just be wasting ammo sometimes. Die. And those gray ones, they, ah, they can, uh, shoot, like, magic stuff at you, so watch out for them, too. That guy. Just die. Thank you. Ah! Man, I don't want to die. Okay, good, we got them both. Awesome. Alright, let's get the key, and more enemies will come out. Every time you do something good, it's like it's something bad. That's not fair. Anyway, um, the door, where the heck is the door? Aha, here it is. Die, and you too. Just don't want to die. That would really suck. Because this is a long... Oh, crap, I'm out of Fletchets? Ah! Oh. Alright, shotgun time then. Ah! Oh, jeez, that was close. I was not expecting that. <laughs> jeez. Uh, shotgun shells, grenades... I need something long range and powerful. Why not a rocket launcher? All right, and kaboom. Now he's actually not dead, if you can believe it. And one more, kaboom. Awesome, now he's dead. And now I am sadly out of rockets. So that's not gonna be fun, but I guess, you know, I can't really do anything about it. Now, once you come in here, I think the door will close behind you once you get far enough into the room. And there are some minigun rounds. Sorry if you just heard that. I just hit the, uh, the mic. I was trying, I was like scratching my nose. Ah. Die. Now, they will like teleport to right in front of you. So if you want to just hang tight and then just shoot them as soon as they appear, you can also do that. It's just that they can swing those weapons pretty quickly. So I don't know how much damage you're going to take in that time. You know? Okay. Alright, so how many more of these guys are there? Come on. And we're getting near the end of this area, too. But we still got some more to go. Jeez. See, they're just everywhere. Alright, there's another one dead. And there. And once you do all that, this um, thingy will sink into the ground. I know I say thingy a lot, as someone pointed out. Freaking drinking game. Every time I say thingy, you take a shot. I, I take offense to that. No, not really. <laughs> That'd be a weird drinking game, I swear. Anyway, um, if you need health, there's two health packs in here. Whoa. Um, we got more guys right here, so watch out for them. Dang it. Stop rolling around like a little noob. Boom. Alright. Ah. 
Bam! And one more. Monster kill! Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to concentrate here! Stop being annoying! Ugh. Ow! Don't shoot me in the face! I'm only I uh, only I am allowed to do that to you! Anyway, grab this. It's a large med kit if you need it right there. I don't know if there's another one on the other side though, so. Yeah, just go ahead and just keep an eye on your health, of course. Uh, go ahead and walk up to this little circle stone thingy. And then it will open a door. And it will spawn another rocket dude. So now, um, once that's all done, go ahead and go back in the water. And then we'll have to swim back into the other room. And then, yeah, and then we're going to have to kill this rocket man. Now, I'm fairly certain that you can actually just stay in the water. Yeah, I don't think he can see you while you're in the water. So if you want to, and I want to, I'm going to pukeify him. Alright. What the heck are you doing, man? I just shot you in the face with a poison arrow and you're not doing anything. Now, these guys, they can actually puke once and they're still okay. So, watch, he's going to... See, now he's fine. So you'll have to shoot him. These guys are a lot tougher than all the other ones. See, uh, is he dead yet? Ah, now he's dead. Okay. Once it does the animation, like for the the other ones that do it normally, like he's on all fours and vomiting, or he's doing like the choking thing, then he's dead. Alright, so anyway, we're going to be moving on to the next area in this uh, next video, so I'll see you later.